Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create this type of base plate connection in Tecla structures 2023 version with PDF example. I will provide this PDF example link in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures 2023 version with Indian environment. Before going to create this column with a base plate, we need to create views first. So select this grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines and type here before grid elevation, elevation on view space and similarly type here elevation on grid. Then click on create and then click on OK and OK. Now we have views, you can see click on window and select this view list. You can see you know, we have views here, elevation and plan views and close it. Now we're going to create column. So in our example, we have column with ISMB 400 and height is of 5000 millimeters. So we're going to create this standard profile column according to Indian standards. So click on still and select this column and you can create the column at here or here. So I'm going to create at this intersection point. You can see when you place the uh, cursor at intersection you will get this symbol point slash intersection so click on here to place the column right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have column like this okay in our example we have column with ismb 400 is a profile so i'm going to change this profile so double click on this column to open column property window here you can see steel column property window here now we have profile by default we have ismb 400 in our example also we have ismb 400 so no need to change this profile if you want to change the another profile so click on here profile catalog and we have standard profiles here according to indian standards you can see is 808 and 1989 you can see now we have ismb 400 125 150 175 like this in the list if you wanted to select this ismb 300 select it and then click on apply ok uh, you can see now we have SMB 300. Click on modify to see the result here. You can see currently we have SMB 300, but as per your our example, we have SMB 400. So click on here and select the SMB 400. Then click on apply OK and click on modify to see the result here. You can directly change this number also here. For example, if you want to enter here SMB 300, you can enter and click on modify to see the result here. Okay. In our example, we have 400, so let's take here 400, then click on modify it. Okay, now coming to do the numbering here. For example, we're going to take here assembly, assembly number is the C, and part number is the, we're going to enter here CL. For example, let's take uh, part number small c, and uh, assembly number is the capital C, and start number is 1. Now coming to this orientation, you can see in our top view, we have orientation like this horizontally. That means in the shape of H. So click on modify and click on window and select the view list and go to the planet zero and click on this arrow to open. In our top view, you can see this column like this vertical. We need to rotate in horizontal direction just like in our example. Uh, that means we need to rotate in 90 degrees so under rotation option you can see under position we have rotation let's take here 90 degrees type here 90 then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have 90 degrees like this okay now coming to the height we have height is the oral length of the height is the 5000 millimeter and bottom level zero so we need to enter here top level 5000 by default we have 5000 and bottom level we need to enter here zero then click on modify and close it go to the window and select 3d view you can see now her oral total length is the 5000 and bottom level is the zero okay now go to the base plate we have this type of base plate here so we need to Oh, create this type of base plate so go to the application and components just click on here by default you'll get like this go to the application components by click on here 
otherwise you can use the shortcut also control F and in search bar type base plate and you'll get this base plate this type of base plate we need to select this component you can see base plate with 1042 select this component and by default we have transparent view here so to get solid or render view use the shortcut control 4 and you will get the render view like this that means just like a solid now select this base plate component and you can see in the command bar it asking pick part that means the column so select this column and next point we have here pick a position that means the, at the middle of this column are gradient section points so click on here to place the base plate right click on mouse interrupt now you can see now we have base plate here so close this application components window and click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see by default we have sh shaded view to get the render view or solid view use the shortcut shift 4 for component for parts you need to use the control and for component you need to use the shift okay now we have the base plate like this now coming to the rotation option you can see by default it will be rotate uh, about the center of this rectangular box we need to rotate about this point so you need to use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point at the base plate position now use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this or scroll button use the control and scroll button press it and you can move the scroll to rotate like this right click mouse interrupt now we're going to change this base plate and we need to place the anchors here according to this example so double click on this base plate or double click on this cone green color cone we have this is the component symbol you can double click on this component symbol or you can double click on this base plate also just double click on it to open base plate now go to the parts we no need to change these uh, options in the base plate so in the first tab picture tab so click on this parts tab in the parts tab you can enter the thickness of this base plate in our example we have base plate thickness is the 16 millimeters you can see we have 16 millimeters base plate thickness so we need to enter here 16 millimeters no need to enter the width and height here now go to the parameters no need to change any parameters here one thing in the parts tab you can enter here the part numbering also here so prefix we need to enter bp base plate is the shortcut is the bp and start number we're going to enter here one and now coming to here you need to type here base plate name for example you can see base plate like this now go to parameters tab no need to change in the parameters now general no need to enter any values in general tab now click on anchor in anchor rod tab we can enter the rod size here in our example we have anchor rod size is the 20 dia so we're going to enter here the rod profile is the 20 we need to take so click on profile uh, you can see click on here profile catalog now we need to enter in the circular section so select it and set the rod and enter here 20 millimeter now click on apply ok uh, now similarly you can enter the nut profile also here so before strike enter nut now click on here filter now click on here user defined fixed now click on here plus symbol to to open this list now in our example we have the anchor rod is a 20 dia so we need to take here rod nut also 20 now click on apply okay now washer we're going to uh, leave it as a default profile now base plate width here you can see base plate with anchor we need to display in the model so we need to select here anchor rod now click on modify to see the result you can see by default we have a uh, long rod in our example we have l band anchor so we need to change the profile so click on here and set this l band and click on modify to see the result in our example we don't have any total length of this anchor so we're going to leave it this value as default and similarly we know we don't have any option at the project uh, projection of this anchor so just leave it this projection 50 millimeter as a default now coming to 
you can see in our model we don't have nut and washer profiles in this model so to create the nut and washer under create tab you can see select this s for nut and second option for washer click on modify it you can see now we have nut and washer profiles here if you wanted to change the thickness of this washer you can enter here so you can see second option here second box let's take the wash thickness 5 millimeter according to the design parameters in your company you need to enter here the values so click on modify to see the result here okay that's it about anchors now coming to this extra plates we don't require any extra plates here so go to the bolts tab in our bolt tab we need to enter the bolt size uh, just like in anchor we have anchor rod is a 20 millimeters so we need to enter here 20 dia bolt size and the standard we can set from here according to design parameters so by by default we're going to take default profile now coming to the tolerance in our example we have the tolerance is the three millimeter we need to enter here three millimeters that means the total uh, size of the hole in the base plate is the 23 millimeters bolt size plus tolerance is uh, equal to hole size okay now click on modify to see the result here now coming to the bolt number of bolts and uh, well, length and edge distance and pitch and gauge we need to enter here the values uh, coming to this picture you can see this yellow color indicates the base plate you can see this is the total length of the base plate and this is the width of the base plate and we can see the orientation of this column here in our example we have the orientation in plan you can see we have orientation in horizontal in in our picture we have vertical so no need to get confused just refer the base plate length and width in this picture you can see according to this base plate we have length this is the length of the base plate and this is the width of the base plate in this uh, picture we have this is the width and this is the length now coming to this in our example you can see this is the length of the base plate 450 and the width is the 200 millimeter and thickness is the 16 millimeter now coming to here in the first picture box we have the edge distance in, this is the length the direction so you can see the edge distance from edge of the plate to first hole oh, in our example we have for edge of the plate to first hole distance is the 100 millimeter on both side so we need to enter here 100, 100 millimeter we don't have another box here that means the edge distance on both side is the same now coming to this small box this small box indicates the number of rows in a length side direction that means you can see in our example in the length this is the length of the base plate in the length wise we have rows is one and two you can call it a column which is a vertical so one and two two columns so we need to enter here number of rows here two and the spacing between the rows here the spacing the spacing between the rows oh obviously we have only two columns here so between two distance between this, these two columns we have 250 so we need to enter here the spacing between the holes we need to enter here 250 similarly in the width wise in our example we have in width wise edge distance you can see edge of the plate to first hole distance we have 50 millimeters on both side so we need to enter here 50 here also 50 now in this small box indicates the number of rows or columns in this direction so in the width, width side direction we have number of rows one and this is the two so the spacing between these two rows are 100 millimeter so we need to enter a number of rows two and uh, spacing between the holes are 100 millimeters now click on modify to see the result here like this you can see okay that's it uh, in the analysis so no need to change any values in the analysis so click on modify apply okay now click on space right click on mouse radar view you can see now have base plate like this now coming to the 3d view you can see you'll get column with a base plate like this okay now we're going to measure this uh, values you can see according to this example so click on window and select this view list and go to the elevation view you can see elevation along grid one you can see now this column on two grids one and a now go to elevation along grid one so select this elevation on grid one and click on this arrow to open view and close it you can see currently we are in elevation on grid one so you can see like this 
So now we're going to measure the spacing. You, you can see in our example, we have total length is a 5000 from top of column to bottom of base plate. So let's take edit and select the measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at the bottom of base plate. Zoom it and pick the second point bottom of base plate and pick the next point here to place the dimension. Right click on mouse interrupt and zoom out. You can see we have 5000 millimeter total length of this column. In our second, you can see the spacing of the base plate thickness is 16 millimeters. So, we're going to measure the spacing of base plate here thickness. So, click on measure and set this vertical distance and pick the first point and pick the second point here and click on here to place the distance. Right click on mouse interrupt. You can see now we have 16 millimeters. These are the measurement, these are the checking dimensions. So if you want to erase this um, checking dimensions, click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. You can see this checking dimensions are gone. Now coming to the space plate dimension. So we are going to click on window and select this planet zero. Now I'm going to measure this spacing. So click on measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the next point at center of the bolt. So click on here to place the dimension and similarly click the first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension. Again pick the first point and second point too and click on here to place the dimension. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we have edge distance and this is the pitch dimension. So in our example we have 100, 250 100, 250, 100. Similarly, we have 100, 250, 100. Similarly, we're going to measure in vertical direction. So click on here and set the vertical distance and pick the first point here, edge distance, and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension. And pick the first point and pick the second point at the center of this bolt and click on here to place the dimension. And click the first point and click the second point and click on here to place the dimension. Right click on mouse interrupt. You can see we have 50, 150. In our example, we have also 50, 150. Okay, that means we have same column, just like in our example, PDF example, like this. Click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view to erase these checking dimensions. Okay, click on window and select this 3D view. You can see you'll get like this. Okay. I will provide this PDF example link in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, that's it about how to create column with this type of base plate in Tecla structures. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. If you would like to support me, please click on thanks button. Okay, thank you.